Make sure you stand to the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Escape, that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the spark plugs ignition coils fuse is located, if you have problems with spark plugs ignition coils not working, always check these two fuses first. We'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important guys to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation Ford Escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less than one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so the spark plugs ignition coils fuse where you can expect to find it it's actually two fuses that we need to check for the spark plugs ignition coils on that generation for the escape this is the pre-face lifted model this is the face lifted model you guys it should work for both by the way you should have three different fuse boxes in that suv today we will work in just one that's under the hood Open the hood on your Ford Escape facing the engine on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover here. Open it, you will find underneath the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out two fuses will need to be checked for the spark box ignition coils but before we continue if you need to buy new fuses relays spark box ignition coils at a good price parts guys at a really good price and quick shipping we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience this part of the fuse box faces the front of your Ford escape this is the windshield side passenger side driver side if we zoom in and we come in that front section right here, we need to check one fuse and this is fuse number 35 right here, that 10 amp fuse. Then you need to go to a different one and you need to check one more. Okay, it's in the same section. We'll be working right here and we're talking about fuse number 23. We're talking about that 5 amp fuse right here. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.